In January, the 108-year-old Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum will open a 70,000-square-foot addition behind the historic building in Boston's Fenway neighborhood. The new building gives the museum an opportunity to restore one of its original exhibit spaces, housing a medieval stone treasure from Paris that has been hidden from view for decades. On the second floor of the three-story Venetian-style building is the tapestry room, which since 1914 has housed the museum's large collection of historic tapestries. But since the early 1970s, the tapestry room has served not only as a gallery, but also as a concert hall. A large stage was constructed, lighting was added, and rows of seats filled the room. These additions obscured a massive French fireplace that was imported by Isabel Stewart Gardner in 1906. Without the concert furniture, the mantle becomes a visual focal point for the hall. But decades of soot and grime have built up, and conservators this year spent hundreds of hours painstakingly restoring the stone. The work involves stripping and cleaning every inch of the mantle using scalpels, chemicals, a laser, and even human saliva. Details on the mantle began to emerge, and its mysterious past became clearer. Curators at the museum were finally able to examine the interesting figures carved into the header for clues on its origins and history. Some of the figures, such as this collared monkey grabbing a goose by the tail, appear to be nothing more than decoration, though interesting and comical. But look at the angels carved into the keystone. Curators realize their bare legs are exposed, an important clue to the age of the mantle. Such exposed body parts are typical of sculptures of the late 15th century. Museum records indicate that Isabel Stewart Gardner believed the mantle came from a chateau in France in the early 1500s. For the first time since it opened in 1914, the Isabel Stewart Gardner Museum's tapestry room will be returned to its original configuration and purpose.